this is Eric Harris with Guy Centric Living, and this is my Guy Centric Live at five, and I'm doing it today. Actually, pre-recorded because I'm on vacation, and I wanted to show you what I've been up to while I've been on vacation. And one of those things is harvesting roses. Okay, so this is going to be beach roses, Rosa rugosa or Rosa rubiginosa, and you can see right behind me here lovely beach roses these are the hips that are created after the rose okay. if you any of roses around here they'll go in all different cycles so but this is what forms usually august september is the best time to harvest these and if you see how i can kind of squish them a little bit that's the best time to harvest them want to be careful you don't want to get prickers because they are roses but it's nice they're usually at the end and they can come in all different colors you see this one is a little bit more orange okay so but it is a little soft meditation you do have to be careful it's very common to find poison ivy it may be hard for you to see on the video but there's a bunch of poison ivy interspersed in here so I usually just leave those alone I don't wear sandals I often pull actually pants and shoes garb I did that the other day when I went to a beach because there was pointy This one's a little hard, actually, okay, but if I let it sit and ripen for a little bit, Massachusetts, this vineyard. They can be in all different sizes, as you can see. Some of them can be smaller like this. Or they can be a little bit bigger. I've seen them even twice the size of this, too. Right. An amazing fact about rose hips is a small handful of these, like three or four of them, has as much vitamin C as a whole orange. Okay. So they are great for the immune system, great source of vitamin C. You can do so many different things with these. What you do is you take off the top there. So I will have these in my basket. I'll bring them home with me. I'll be going back to my journey. I can just take off those little tops and see the seeds in there. Okay. You don't want to eat the seeds, but you actually could eat that outer outer part there. It's kind of sweet when they're nice and ripe. And they make a very awesome jam if you separate the seeds from the skins. Um, you can also make a syrup or you can make a rose hip seed oil. You can make tinctures out of them, teas. So very versatile with what you can do with rose hips. And I put these in my immunity tonic tincture. So combining them with other berries, reishi mushrooms, other herbs. You know, Amazing how nature always has an answer for you before the season. You know, traditionally, cold and flu season is in the colder months of the year. I know it's been a little different the past couple of years, but um, so it's amazing how you know, the, what we need grows right before the season when we need it. So those are rose hips. And you will see. I should actually show you a little bit of the leaves. Too, so you can properly identify it. Very common rose leaves. They have that one vein down the center, okay, and their teeth, just so you know for sure. And you'll see the beach roses, they're usually like pink or white, and they're very like whimsy looking. They have big petals, and they open up. Um, very different than a traditional rose that you may know. Okay. But, 
you'll find these all along the beach. Um, and they, they are an invasive species, so you can actually harvest as many of them as you want. Um, and you're not gonna be hurting any part of the habitat. So, so yeah, so check them out when you're at the beach. Now, if you saw these, you, you know what they are, and you know what you can do with them, uh, sort of, <laughs> uh, for the most part. And uh, yeah, so it's a great little, little find uh, while you're going to the beach. In the summertime, it's the late summer, you can find them. Early summer, you can harvest the rose petals as well. You can make an incredible rose water, make a moisturizer out of them, so some the different stuff you can do with the petals, um, even make soaps and just all different stuff. So. Um, but just like with the elder flowers, you don't want to harvest too many of the, the flowers because then you won't get as many of the hips. So just depends on what you're looking for. Depends on how many plants are there too, because usually there's so many that it doesn't it won't really matter. You can probably harvest all the flowers that you want, <laughs> and there'll still would be plenty of hips available. So, all right. So this was Guy Center Five. I know we weren't really live today, but we're usually live Mondays at five o'clock. Uh, my profile page and over at Chief for Healing as well. Uh, and what I do is I go over topics that I'm focusing on on my Guy Centric Living private membership. So if any of you are interested in the membership, I am going to be opening it up again in September um, for a short window. And, but you have to be on my newsletter list for that. So if you're interested in that at all, find out way more info on a lot of the topics that I discuss on this medicine, holistic healing, plant-based living, and wild foraging. So that's what it's all about. Helping people with chronic illness and chronic pain.